if there is one, Coach Crum, what is your biggest professional regret? In other words, if you could armchair quarterback, well, I shouldn't say that to a basketball coach, but it's all right. Or hindsight 2020, is there? Yeah. A, it can be professional or personal. To, you know, regret's kind of a strong word. Some of our guests don't like it, but well, I guess it, professionally, uh, I can think of a number of things that I. I, I don't know that in some cases there's nothing that you can do about them. I can remember U.S. Reed throwing in a 50-footer that kept us out of the, uh, the Final Four one year. Uh, and we knew he was going to get the shot, and we yeah. had him double teamed, but it didn't seem to matter. He threw it in uh, from the midcourt line, uh, and he said, uh, yeah. I threw up a prayer, and it was answered. Yeah. And sometimes, you, you know, you do everything you can, and you're well prepared, but sometimes things just don't turn out the way you wanted them to. And so, I mean, things like that. In 1977, Larry Williams broke his foot. Mm -hmm. And we had played uh, Marquette at Marquette uh, earlier in the season. And uh, the, we beat them on their own floor. Mm -hmm. And they were um, eventually won the national championship that year. And <laughs> we had the best team. Uh, but after Larry Williams, uh, we had gone and played in Las Vegas uh, against Jerry Tarkanian's mm -hmm. running Rebels, and okay. uh, uh, they fouled out six of our top seven guys and ended up beating us 96 to 93. And, and then uh, we went to Tulsa after that on, to play our first conference game on the way home, and, and Larry Williams broke his foot in that game, and we mm. were just not the same, you know, after that. I mean, you can, all, you can pick lots of things, I guess, in a... 30-year career that uh, that you would like to do different, but uh, you really can't do them different. You just do the best you can do. Mm -hmm.